Gadolinium is a chemical element that is a rare earth metal in the periodic table's lanthanide series. Gadolinium is a silvery white metal that is somewhat ductile, moderately hard, and fairly stable in air, though it tarnishes over time. Hello everyone, and welcome to a brand new video on the channel. Today we are going to talk about gadolinium. Before we get started with the video, don't forget to smash the like button, share the video, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get started. Except for hydrofluoric acid, HF, gadolinium reacts slowly with water and quickly with diluted acids. HF creates a protective layer of GDF3 that lasts for a long time and stops the metal from reacting further. Gadolinium is the only lanthanide that is ferromagnetic at room temperature. Its Curie point is 293 K, 20 degrees Celsius, or 68 degrees Fahrenheit. Above this temperature, the metal acts as a powerful paramagnet. Jean Charles Galassard de Marignac and Paul A. Mile Lecoq de Bois Baudrin discovered gadolinium. Marignac isolated a new rare earth, metallic oxide, from the mineral Samarskite in 1880, and Lecoq de Bois Baudrin obtained a fairly pure sample of the same earth in 1886, which he named gadolinia, after a mineral in which it occurs which in turn was named after the Finnish chemist Joan Gadolin. Gadolinium is found in a variety of minerals, including bastnasite, and is typically produced from bastnasite. It can also be found in nuclear fission products. Gadolinium is as plentiful in the Earth's crust as nickel and arsenic. Solvent solvent extraction or ion exchange procedures are used in commercial metal separation. Calcium metallothermically reduces anhydrous chloride or fluoride to form the metal. Gadolinium compounds are mostly used as hosts for fluorescent lamp phosphors, X-ray enhancing screens, and scintillators for X-ray tomography. They are also used as a contrast agent for magnetic resonance imaging (MRI) in the form of water-soluble chelates. Other applications include nuclear reactor shields and control rods, owing to its extremely high nuclear absorption cross-section, and as a component of yttrium gadolinium garnet, which is used in communications. Gadolinium-based contrast agents GBTA, typically cause moderate side effects such as injection site pain, nausea, itching, disorientation, and headaches. Gadolinium toxicity and nephrogenic systemic fibrosis are rare major side effects that can occur in persons with severe kidney issues. Burning pain, numbness or tingling, cognitive difficulties, and renal damage were among the most common reactions described in persons suspected of having gadolinium poisoning. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration FDA, has issued additional warnings that gadolinium can remain in the body for months or years following an MRI scan. Gadolinium retention occurs when gadolinium accumulates in bone, brain, and kidney tissues. That's the end of the video. I hope you liked it. If you did, let me know by giving it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you next time.